What's up, you guys? <clears throat> this is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. I literally just got up, literally. Uh, might be TMI, but it's the truth. But anyways, okay, so this is not a reading. It's not a reading. Um, I'm about to go to work here in about a little bit. So I just wanted to get on here and I received another dream. Remember back in 2020 when I started reading cards initially, March of 2020? Um, I've had this channel almost three years. But I was in the middle of getting gang stalked at that time in my community, March of 2020. Me and my kids were. And I was getting dreams from my dad, which has been, he's been passed away since I was 18 years old. And I'm 39 now. And I started gaining abilities all in that same time. A lot of weird things happening at that time, March of 2020 for me. But I say that because. A lot has changed in my life since March of 2020. Since all the gang stalking, gaining abilities, starting the channel and all that. A lot's changed for me. Hell, it's just me in my house right now. Um, yeah, I'm still single, but I don't have my damn kids. And that should have never happened. And that's just the truth. Um, and, you know, other things. But that's the biggest thing that's happened for me. Um, the ch ch changing my kids not being here full time. But, um, because... I loved raising my kids. I loved it. That was my biggest passion and joy in my life. And anybody that knew me knew that. But there was also toxic ass people that wanted to destroy my life. And that's just the truth. But, and I know this, but my point is, I got another dream from my dad last night. True story. Now, anybody that doesn't know, most of you guys probably do, but some don't. Especially new subscribers. My dad, that passed away at 18 years old, is not my real blood bloodline dad. He is a adopted father. Um, my adopted foster monster, she's terrible. Still is to this day. We don't speak. But my adopted father passed away when I was 18. Um, and he's the one that came to my dreams in 2020. He came back to my dreams last night. And he basically told me he was back on the couch just like he was in 2020 uh, when I got the original dream that I was going to start getting abilities, I could use them or not. Back on the same old couch, his old recliner, same living room, which looks completely different now, but it was, you know, the way it looked back in the day when he was alive. Because um, it's a dining room now, from what I know. But anyways, he told me in the dream last night, that a lot of people were going to start basically trying to come back from my past, that it would not be smart to communicate with them. Confirmation for my intuitive kitty. Double confirmation. Triple confirmation. Come here, baby. Come on. Triple confirmation. You can't make this crap up when you wanted to. But he said a lot of people were going to start coming back from my past, it would not be smart to communicate with them because they are huge ass criminals. And I heard, um, not heard, I'm sorry. He also said in there that there is um, more than one large investigation going on and there's about to be more large investigations about to go on. Do not communicate with these people is what he basically told me. And in this dream, it was a little different than the other one. Because he was, he wasn't like pressed and stressed in there, but my dad never was a pressed and stressed kind of guy. He just never was. Um, but it was more urgency. It was more urgency in there. And like the one in 2020, it was like, oh, you can take the, um, uh, you can take the spiritual gifts or not, basically. You can, um, take the gifts or not. Kind of like nonchalant. This was urgency. Like urgency he's and he did told me they were huge ass criminals there's some were some terrible he also said there's some terrible things that's happened over the last few years and um but he said it's all it's all about to come out but i need to protect myself there was just a huge sense of urgency there a huge sense it was completely different than 2020 like my dad was never an urgent kind of person even when he fucking almost cut his hand off arm off with the damn circular saw he just was not an urgent person. I'm serious. He almost cut his hand off a circular saw. He almost cut his guts open um, before. I mean, truth. Truth, 
there, but oh, it'll be okay as blood squirting out. So he wasn't an urgent kind of person, but he was a great person. He was a great person, but urgency, I mean, he was urgent without acting urgent, if that makes sense. So he was definitely urgent in that dream. And he was specific. He specifically told me specific people in my family. He said nobody, nobody from my past. But he also said specific people do not even communicate with in my family. Like, period. Like, not even a reply. I mean, it was that bad. So, anyway, so my point with this is I've had about five people, five people just this week. Today's January 5th. January, um, it, no, I'm sorry, it started on Saturday. So it was, um, December 31st to uh, January 4th, today's the 5th. From December 31st to January 4th, I've had five people in my past try to come back. Already. Already. And that's not even a week's time frame, excuse me. Already five people. And that's the truth. Now, it was very short communication, very short. Because I'm not really a talker on the phone. Never have been. Um, nor am I a gossiper. Never have been. My communication is usually very short. Unless you've got something very important to tell me. And that's just the truth. Anybody that knows me knows that. So I kept my communication short. Because I'm not a gossiper. And I'm not um, a gossip gal or a gossip Gary. So. And that's just the truth. But. I've had five try to come back. Already. And it hasn't even been a week. So, my point is, with the five that have tried to come back within the last, not even a week, you know who you are. I think you watch my channel. The reason I'm putting this on my channel is because I think you watch my channel. And the five that uh, have come back in the past, not even a week, you know who you are. And I had another chick try to come back. Um, I've had somebody claim to be my best friend about a month ago. Or no, she was about two weeks ago. She tried to claim she was my best friend. Honey, we're not best friends. I mean, I just want to let you know, okay? She lives in New York, and you know who you are. And I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. And I know you watch my channel. You're a sub on here. I'm really not trying to hurt your feelings, honey bunny. But we're not best friends, okay? We're not. I barely know you. You live in New York. I live in Alabama. We've never met. I don't know you. I don't know you. Not like that. And that's just the truth. So we're not best friends, okay? Um, I think it'd be smart for you to find you a best friend that lives close to you. That y'all can be honest and truthful and close with. Not somebody that lives many states away from you, honey bunny. We're just not on the same frequency. And that's just the truth, okay? That's to you. But um, anyways, um, and then I had somebody about a month or two months ago. I kept her dirty little secrets was a good, good friend to her for many, many, many years. Well, she betrayed me about four, year, uh, four years ago, uh, real bad. And I had done nothing to deserve it. So I cut her off. Well, then she tried to come back about a month ago and her initials start with a D. Uh, and no, it's not my crazy ass sister. I definitely would never talk to her ass, accuse me of child abuse in the court of law when she really is a child abuser. I know she is. It's not her, it's somebody else. But anyways, you know who you are, too. I'm not interested. But my point is, I take my dad's dreams very seriously. I really got to get off here. I take my dad's dreams very seriously. And it's not going to happen, you guys. I know you probably watch my fucking channel. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to. So, whatever the hell. I heard the shit about the... I'm not... I didn't hear. But I keep saying I... Hearing. I wasn't hearing. I was... Well, technically, I was hearing it in the dream state. He was telling me in the dream state, this, is a, a, this wasn't a clear audience message. This was a um, um, dream state. But my point is, you're not getting communication from me. You're not. It's going to be just like it was in the past. I don't know what you guys got into in the past. I wasn't a part of it. But I'm not going to be a part of crimes. 
I'm just letting everybody know. I'm not, I refuse to be part of crimes. I refuse to be part of greed because I know it had to do a lot to do with greed. It had a lot to do with jealousy and it had a lot to do with apparently mental health issues like to spy in on people illegally through a fucking voyeur camera. So I don't do those kind of things. So you have to make the bed that you lied in, basically. And if you have anything you need to report officially to the police or FBI or authorities or Child Protective Services, you do that. But don't come to me because we're not friends. You broke that bond years ago. If anybody needs to hear that, okay? All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.